<laughs> All right. One, two, three, four, five. One. Ta -da. Here you are. I thought when someone ordered a gut punch, you had to make a joke about giving a client a punch to the stomach or something. <laughs> Oh, that? In theory, yeah. Gil's the only one who pays attention to that, though. That would be... well, it would get old after a while. Really? He didn't receive proper training. He read an old manual my boss had. <laughs> there was some sort of stipulation mentioning the need to say puns. I approve of that stipulation wholeheartedly. But it seems like it was some sort of anti-counterfeit measure. I mean, if they copied such a silly st stipulation, they'd be caught in the act. Like when dictionaries added fake words to spot if someone just copied all of it. Yep. Why not tell him that? It's too amusing, to be honest. Yeah, that would... It would be... A shame to make him quit doing it because of... Yeah. So what's on your mind that's distracting you so much? Nothing you should think about too much. It's like those times you just feel uneasy for no good reason. Oh. You might have some actual reasons to feel that way, though. Come to think of it, mercenary is quite the uncommon. Occupation, wouldn't you say? I like to see what I do as a bounty hunting, actually. It's almost the same thing. How so? The only jobs I don't take are those where I have to deal with people who just happen to be in the wrong place. There are some people willing to pay to off someone that has done their wrong. Things like killing someone that owns a house in the way of some building, or a nosy reporter. I'm not better for turning a blind eye to such requests, but I'm not gonna be dealing with those. Oh. Uh, the bounty hunter part comes where? If I'm sent to kill someone that has done something like stealing or killing and I get paid for it, you could see that as bounty hunting. True enough, I guess. <clears throat> yeah. It's just cheap justifications for killing people, though. In the end, they're cheap. However, I won't be one to kill for petty reasons like those. But let's change the subject here. I'll have something bitter if you don't mind. Huh. Sure. That's a tad, though maybe something manly would be better. Okay, so we want something that ticks bitter and manly. Okay, pile driver works. Hold on. I want to try maybe suplex instead. Uh, ice and mixed. Here. Ah, yes. You just reminded me of my grandpa. He used to eat Bronson roots every afternoon. He said they made them stronger. <laughs> or made him stronger. Bronson roots have more nutrients per gram than most vitamin supplements. Your grandpa knew what he was doing. It seems I always manage to make you uncomfortable, Jill. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, no, don't worry. Although I guess it's mostly because I can't wrap my mind, <clears throat> mind around the whole taking a human life thing. Knowing you've killed people and are now talking to me here, it's weird. It reminds me of when I first took sex ed class. I couldn't wrap my mind... <laughs> oh. I couldn't wrap my mind around people doing that stuff and living normally. It's better you stay that way, mind you. Taking lives is not something you should get used to. Yeah, I would imagine so. Ah, yes, I know a good way to change the subject a bit. Would you like to hear about the most dangerous bounty hunter in the city? 
The way you said that was like offering a tale to a bored kid, but yeah, I'd like to hear that one. Is it the Crimson Rose? You see, there was an actual- there was actually a bounty hunter organization in this city not too long ago. Law enforcement would put a price on a dangerous person's head and pay f for the proof of the person's death. There was a guy everyone called Jet Black James. He- <laughs> Jet Black James, okay. Okay. He got the nickname because he always wore black clothes. Alright. The interesting thing was that the black clothes were to hide the bloodstains he got from his contracts. His tracking skills were top-notch, his information network was the best. <laughs> Some even joked he would finish the bounty within half an hour, or that he wouldn't take the reward. He was too good, in fact, so someone put a bounty on him. At one point, he took all the bounties and didn't take a single reward. He was just that crazy by then. The last bounty that the organization ever posted was on James's head. The police had him cornered. His last words were, send it all to my account. Send it all to my account before shooting himself. Why hasn't that been made into a movie? <laughs> yeah, that does sound like a uh, movie plot. So there were no more bounties after that? <clears throat> a registered bounty hunter was charged with many counts of manslaughter, using his old targets as proof. If somebody else tried to recreate the organization, the seed of doubt would grow in little to no time. What guarantee is there that such an organization wouldn't actually be a trap? They could use the registered bounty hunters to take care of the bothersome criminals, the most bothersome criminals and then dispose of the bounty hunters by pressing charges, using their targets as evidence. So no, Jet, Bla Jet Black James has made sure no law enfor enforcement organization is able to set up any kind of bounty, hun bounty hunting of any kind. Ever since then, anyone is, anyone, wow, I am off. Crazy enough to be a bounty hunter works independently. Were you part of that organization? I've actually had those suspicions, I'm telling you since the day. I heard such a thing exists. Glad to know I wasn't just paranoid. I don't know how well you changed the subject, but that certainly was one interesting story. Just to make sure you're not a rebuilt black Jet Black James or something, right? The name James is pretty common, Jill. True enough. Besides, if I m remember correctly, his name was actually Theodore. It just didn't start with J, so... Oh. Story left my throat a bit dry. Get me a beer, please. Sure. Make this like Dawson likes it and double everything. Ah, uh, no. Well, yeah, we do want to double that, actually. Do One of mankind's oldest friends. Cheers. <clears throat> One obvious thing I see is that you don't take the use of the word kill in your stride the same way Gillian does. I'm not good with violence. That's good. It's interesting though, when I compare you two, it's obvious Gillian has seen quite the share of traumatic stuff. That guy's a handful because of that sometimes. Yeah, just disappearing for some over the weekend. Still, he's one of the most reliable people I've ever met. Where is he, by the way? I asked him to keep an eye on a girl that came here earlier. I feel that if something happened, he could resolve the situation, because he is a secret- he is a man with secret skills. His nose must be itching after we talked so much about him. Yeah, maybe. Well, I've got to go. Send my regards to your boss and Gillian. Will do. Man, today's been quite heavy. Everyone... Wait. If I say it out loud, I feel like it will just tempt fate. But let's try it anyway. Everyone has been gloomy face after gloomy face, and that dog. I sure hope the next client changes that. Oh! This guy? This guy. I don't like this guy. I remember you. 
I knew it. Er, I mean, quite the surprise to see you here again, Mr. Ingram. Got out of my job, I needed a drink badly, and I remembered this crack house was nearby. What can I get you, then? I'll have a bleeding Jane on it. I don't like this guy. Ah, I know it allied. Here. Tastes just like the pasta sauce my aunt, mom used to make. <clears throat> Watered down, artificial, and nasty. Then why did you order it? So where do you work, Mr. Ingram? I don't have a specific job, but this, well, network of engineers is in need of assistance. I have no idea what they do there, but I can follow instructions and that's all they need. Recently I've been working with this Sila girl on some experimental power suits. My only duty is to give them maintenance once a day. What's that about a network? All those nerds know each other and they recommend me. I don't ask questions and quickly learn whatever they need. Huh, sounds nice. It's pretty monotonous at times though. Why are you giving me that look? You're just more cheerful than the last time you came. He was a bit of a jerk last time. We all have good days and bad days. Today just happens to be a not bad day. Besides, with everyone scared in their houses, the streets are clear with no traffic jams. That's always a plus, I guess. It almost became a bad day though, thanks to some teens on the way here. What did they do? It's not what they did, it's what they said. They were talking about how they should just go to the Zaibatsu Corpse HQ and blow it up. Not... ah. Yeah, you know, teenagers are stupid and make stupid remarks. I've seen one too many kids, th yeah, th throwing around the let's kill the king at... What just happened? That's weird. I don't even know how I did that. Sorry, I got a text message. That was, that was weird. I don't, yeah, I don't know how I did that, but... Yeah, let's kill the king attitude. Not the best thing. <laughs> yeah, you just be killing a bunch of office workers. Even if Saibatsu Corp's building suddenly went down, the ones behind it would still be... alive. Killing the head honcho just means that his or her duties go to the- Oh man, <laughs> the next guy on the totem. <laughs> I bet they're plotting to kill each other anyways, probably. Kids these days have too many- seen too many action films where the rebels save the day by killing the evil corporation. Don't let it get to you. I don't, I just hate teenagers. <laughs> That's fair. It's interesting though, a big corporation in control is somehow more dangerous than a regular government. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't know, I'm not a political person. No kidding. <laughs> Alright, give me a Zen star and try not to mess it up. How would you even mess that one up? It's just four of all of the things. Well, I don't remember if it has to be on ice or something. It does have to be on ice. Here you go. 
Yes, it's just as nasty as I've heard. Why order it then? Not your problem. I guess, but you're... So where's the red comet? My boss, she... Jill, four's headed your way. Let's play, four. Let's play. <laughs> oh, a customer. Sorry for the intrusion. We have a dog here and a cat. The cat's mine. His name's Four. The dog just hangs around here. He looks well-groomed and his fur looks healthy. Seems you take good care of him. You seem to know a lot about cats. No, that's just common sense. Do you like cats, Mr. Ingram? I don't dislike them. But I do dislike having animals near me when I'm eating or drinking. So I'll take my leave. Please come again. Don't count on it. You said that last time, and we didn't see him for a while, though. Congratulations, you scared a client off. <laughs> Four's as guilty as me. Yeah, but I like Four. He's my baby. Uh, yep. Pet owners will be pet owners, won't they? Now go play or something. Right. Ah, you're back. What happened with Sai? The cat boomer girl picked her up. Oh, so Stella knows she's alive. That's nice. I couldn't see anything, but I guess she was happy. Glad to hear that. Did I miss something? Only Jamie and some other guy came. I see. You look exhausted. Yesterday was filled with people carrying heavy emotional baggage. I don't mind it, but dealing with them tired me out a little bit. I actually found myself wanting Dorothy to burst out of that door at any moment. She is going to pop up. You, so you missed Dorothy. Kinda. But anyway, nothing good can, Nothing a good night of sleep can't fix. Let's just wrap things up around here and call it a day. Alright. Playing with your cat was really fun. Mistakes, zero. Today's payment, tips. Alright. By the 24th. Ah! We have just enough for the... Okay, assuming that... Uh, assuming that alcohol prices isn't... We should be able to make that back before the 24th. Alright. Four, mind the hairballs. You leave thicker ones in the shower. Oh. The troubles of having long hair. I feel it. Uh, soccer popularity sinks. That's depressing. <clears throat> but I like soccer, and that's and because of that, you're castrated. Ouch! Not cool. Once known as the king of sports, soccer is no longer even a shadow of its former self. After the corruption scandals of the last World Cup, fans have begun drifting towards the theatrical magic of the pro wrestling industry. <laughs> In this world, soccer got unseated by pro wrestling. That's hilarious. <laughs> but alright. Cool. The latest GSF tournament pulled nearly 20 million viewers from Glitch City alone. As one of them, this mo as as of this moment, fans seem to be vastly favoring pro wrestling. It's easier to follow something we know is predetermined as opposed to something that pretends to be a legit sport. <laughs> Said a fan outside the GSF arena. <clears throat> And people kicking a ball is really boring, too. Ah. Alright, so that was hilarious. Quincy, I certainly like fried chicken. During our weekly interview with, Ms. with Prime Minister Quincy, he revealed his unusual taste for rare, for certain rare, certain rare food fried chicken. Oh man, that's rare in the future. I know it sounds a bit rude to say something I like most people don't have access to, but I just can't deny my love for it. <clears throat> when you taste a chicken breast like the one that Kenta made, you just can't go back, Quincy declared to the augmented eye. In other news, Quincy also confessed his desire to ban instant food, although he later said it was in jest. Yeah, well... 
I wouldn't ban instant food since that's what people in the city like the most, even though I hate it. No, I wouldn't ban it. Monster girlfriends. I don't know how to say that. She are. Oh, I, I forgot to read. Is that is it that rare? People sure. Pretty sure the ones sold are fried pigeons. <laughs> That's funny. Do you want that game? Anime games are stupid. New ones, at least. From the waifu revolution of the 2010s. <clears throat> or the waifu revolution from the 2010s is no longer a laughing matter. What started as a trend has gone out of control since the standardization of VR technologies, which allows people to live in full full time inside their computers. As a result of this craze, it shouldn't be a huge surprise to know that the popular Monster Girlfriend franchise became a commercial juggernaut with millions of copies shipped in Glitch City alone. Worldwide, the game has shipped nearly 90 million copies since its launch in March and is 90 million copies. That is quite a bit. Making it a world record holder, making it a record holder that won't quit. Was the waifu age real? Well, there's your answer. Alright. Check dangerous opinions next, I suppose. What? Okay, so we already read that one. AM Township 64. Gonna buy that one? Depends on the library. Hype? Literally no games. Is anyone else tired of, all of this Monster Girl meme? No, no, no. I'm going to marry a Monster Girl. I just want the next actual game. I just want actual gameplay next time. Why would you want gameplay in a Sukuban game or however you say it game? <laughs> oh man, I like the meta poking fun humor here. I don't know. All I see is pretty girls with nothing to back it up. Any info on the hardware? It's probably going to be yet another underpowered piece of garbage. Harsh. It's not like the competition is any better. Meh, I think I'll just quit gaming. Nothing but trash as of late. <clears throat> yeah, remember when games were actually good and devs made them with love and care? Me neither. Harsh. I, there are plenty of games that still have love put into them. Anyway, I think I'm going to call it here for today, even though this is on the shorter end of my recording sessions. Maybe I'll do a little bit more later. But, as of today... I'm going to call it good. Thank you for watching. And as that went by really fast, though. Hmm. Anyway, thank you for watching. And as always, follow me to Apex.